Hey guys, Synthetic here, and as you can see, the second round of AUR in China this time. And to be honest, there are quite a lot of topics I have to cover, so let's get started. Um, first of all, here's um, my fastest lap in qualifying. My banker was uh, 32.1, which wasn't that good. Um, in training, I did 31.6s, um, 31.7s around. So I knew I could improve on my lap. And the first thing I want to talk about is my setup because I used um, quite a strange one. Uh, I used, I think, 311 wings um, with 9 ballast and yeah, there was a good reason behind that because my plan was to do a one-stop um, starting on super softs um, and pitting for softs uh, at the end of lap 10 or 11. Um, simply because in training, Alex and I, we discovered um, that the softs were quite a lot faster compared the, uh, to the mediums. I think they were 8 tenths to a second quicker. So I knew I had to take a setup which treats um, the tires quite well and doesn't give me too much oversteer when they are worn. So I decided to take a risk and use less ballast which would make me a little bit slow in qualifying but overall faster in the race and at that point I already knew that um, the beginning of the race would be wet um, so yeah less ballast would be quite an advantage there because it gets you uh, less oversteer and a stable back end and yeah this was the quali lap. Um, at the end it got me P8 as you can see. Um, not that good um, in terms of position but I was quite happy with the lap uh, overall. And yeah, now to the race. As you can see um, it's raining and we are on dry tires which make things uh, quite interesting. Uh, we managed to get a solid start. Um, not perfect but quite solid and I saw a gap opening on the right so I went for it but unfortunately here you can see Alex spun right in front of the Toro Rosso hit him and after that I hit him as well um, and yeah quite unfortunate we will see a replay of this in just a second but first of all back to the race we are side by side with Alonso and we have the insight for the next right hander which should hopefully give us P3 and at this point I was quite surprised because when you're starting in P8 uh, and you see your P3 after just a few corners you're quite surprised and at this point it was all about um, getting a feeling of the track try not to push too much um, save the tires a little bit because we will need them at the end and if possible try to catch the cars in front but yeah I also knew that the 9 ballast would help me here because um, especially in this complex um, it's easy to get a lot of oversteer and the more ballast you're running uh, the more oversteer you're gonna get so I knew that especially in this area I would be quite strong and it would also uh, help me down the straights so yeah quite an eventful first lap um, also really frustrating for my teammate because he had a really good qualifying I think he was just 9,000 slower compared to Oli and he could have been in this position as well and yeah but it's the way it is um, sometimes you have these unlucky days and I think it was one of them for him today and here you can see a replay of the start um, I saw a gap opening on the right but unfortunately I couldn't see Alex uh, because he was covered by the Toro Rosso in front and I saw him moving to the right so I tried to go to the left but unfortunately he got hit again by the Toro Rosso and after that uh, he went to the left and I couldn't really evade him so really frustrating but it is what it is and we are now all over the back of Clarkie um, I knew the setup would again uh, help me here I managed to get quite a solid run but something that really surprised me was my straight line speed because here you can see how much time I gain um, and at some point I was so close that I thought okay try to go for the move try not to break too late because I still wanted to give him the room and not push him off the track 
which we managed quite solid. And yeah, suddenly we are in P2, um, Oli ahead, and I knew he would be quite fast around here, especially in the rain. So I tried to push as maximum as I could uh, to put him under a lot of pressure. And here you can see we basically changed fastest laps every lap, uh, which was quite fun. And I managed to yeah, get a little bit closer um, every lap. But suddenly I saw in lap 8 he went to the pits and I was a little bit confused because I thought there's no way he would make it uh, till the end on softs. So I thought, okay, he had to pit for mediums and according to my plan I stayed out till a lap 11. The tires felt quite well. I didn't have any problems with a drop off um, of the tires and something that also surprised me was that I got ahead out of Clucky because normally you would expect that the undercut would help you uh, getting closer or pass but it seemed that the overcut, overcut on super softs was faster compared to the undercut on mediums um, and something that was also interesting was the gap to Oli because it was just 3.1 seconds which was less than I expected at, at this point I really started to push a lot uh, I managed to get over a second quicker per lap and we are also staying on board so you guys can get a feeling of how much quicker uh, a different tire or a different strategy can be and for this reason I'm quiet now over the lap and I will talk to you guys later And here we are now, um, we managed to find quite a lot of time over the, over the lap and Oli locked up as well in the left hander and here you can see uh, we managed to get quite a solid run. Um, we got a little bit of understeer due to the dirty air but nothing too major and as well you can see how much time we gained on the straights. We got closer and closer again to a point where I thought okay just try it around the outside um, and yeah, Oli gave me the space, which was very nice uh, and very fair from him, from him. And I also gave him the space here, um, didn't want to push him off the track. And we managed to get past uh, in the net lead of the race. And at that point I was really happy because I knew my tires would make it till the end. And it would be really difficult for Oli to get closer because the softs didn't really have a drop off in terms of lap times. So it was all about getting past the last two cars who still had um, to do another pit stop. Here you can see one of the overtakes, it was kind of standard move. Um, I used my better tires to get alongside and dived up um, on his inside and I think Clay uh, went into the pits after this lap so we were able to get fresh air after this um, and we were able to yeah, create a gap, use our better tires and something that was quite strange is if you're looking on the top left you're seeing that Oli suddenly wasn't in P2 anymore which was a really surprise to me and I didn't know what happened at the time but looking at the replay it seemed that he hit a car which should have ghosted but it didn't so he lost his front wing and had to pit and this is really frustrating for him because he would really deserved this podium, he was really fast as well and yeah, kind of annoying to see that uh, such a yeah, bug ended his race but for us it was a really lucky day um, we managed the tires, managed the fuel and managed the gap uh, behind I think it was just about 7 seconds so yeah, quite a good lead and we were, we were able to win the race, which was really incredible. I couldn't believe it. And yeah, I'll leave you with the rest of the lap. 
um, and thank you guys for watching thank you for all the lovely support on my last video it was very very kind and yeah see you guys in the next race and i hope you have a nice day and yeah goodbye Honest, life's a competition So if I'm going to play Then I'm going to play to win it I refuse to sit and rot at a desk all day Unless I have a passion I'm working towards, okay? I'd rather be dead on the outside than inside A bullet to the head than 25 to life In a cubicle alone just trying to get by Building someone else's dream instead of building mine If you're hearing me, this is meant to inspire If you have a dream or if you have desires A girl in your life that's making you feel that fire Go fight for her man, go die for her man Cause you only have one life, one chance to do it one chance to prove it to yourself, so don't lose it You got this fam, just keep pushing on through it One day you'll look back, so glad you pursued it Yeah, things are gonna get better real soon Yeah, I'ma just do me, you just do you I swear it's gonna get better real soon Don't let anyone tell you what you should